You are on the platform. Now, tomorrow, I don't think I'm jumping the gun here. That gives you a hint about what the story's about. Tomorrow is a day where Australasia stands still, and it's a funny old thing, but it doesn't seem to drop off. New generations of people get into it. It's Melbourne Cup Day. It's a day that there's a horse race in Australia at Flemington Racecourse that seems to just have a something about it, an X factor. And it's the day when people who don't punt like me do punt. Mind you, I bought some lotto tickets. I must check them. Uh, people who don't punt do pump. Try to get anything done in an office in Australia or in New Zealand after about 2 o'clock is completely useless. Pubs do a roaring trade. Uh, it's Melbourne Cup Day tomorrow. I haven't made any plans for it because I quite like Melbourne Cup Day. It's like a day of magic where anything could happen. Um, here to talk about Melbourne Cup Day, what it means and what the form might be, we're joined by Thad Taylor, spokesperson for TAB, the Totaliser Agency Bureau of New Zealand. Uh, a very uh, good pre-Melbourne Cup morning to you, Thad. How are you? Yeah, happy Christmas Eve, Sean. Yeah, a day out now from the Melbourne Cup. And as you say, still holds a magical place in a lot of Kiwis' hearts. We've had a great history over over the time with Kiwi horses in, in the Melbourne Cup. And it's by far and away the biggest day for the TAB. Kiwis will wager over $12 million today just on the Melbourne Cup alone. And we'll be servicing about 7,000 bets a minute. Uh, well, so that's $2.50 basically for every man, woman and child in New Zealand. Yeah, exactly, exactly right. Well, well, uh, well said. Yeah, and yeah. Done those figures. So yeah, no, it's still the biggest day for the New Zealand TAB ahead of the New Zealand Trotting Cup and Cup Week at Addington and Christchurch, which is probably uh, is only sort of ten days away. But uh, yeah, yeah. It's still a huge day for the TAB. All right, and it's a day when people like me uh, and I only other bet if I'm on course, and that happens maybe once a year, twice a year. Um, so you got a whole lot of novices and newbies. <laughs> Betting, does that mean you have to put on extra staff or have to figure out how to walk people through what for some is quite a confusing process? Yeah, yeah, look, can be. Uh, we speak in horse racing jargon all the time and you become second nature to you and you just don't realise that you're doing it quite often. So we do we do have to cater for that. The contact centre and all the support staff, uh, you know, it's all hands to the pump. They may put out a general call to people that may be able to assist in those areas across the TAB for the day because... You know, uh, we want to be able to help and explain to whoever we can wants to get involved in the great race. So, yeah, no, it is. It's a, it's an area we do focus on uh, on Melbourne Cup Day. Yeah. All right. Um, Thad, what's the easiest way for a novice punter to punt? <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, there's no, there's no wrong way to pick a Melbourne Cup winner. That's probably the first thing. There's 24 horses. You can put all the time and effort into uh, reading the form, uh, going through, making in making your decisions after hours of uh, close study, uh, or you can pick a name you like and you're uh, potentially just as much a chance. So there's no wrong way to pick a Melbourne Cup winner. Have a look at the field. Uh, if you're not a TAB account customer, you can become one very easily on the website. There's sign-up bonuses and the like. Uh, otherwise, you get to your retail outlets. And look, pick a name you like, pick a jockey you like, uh, pick some colours you like. Yeah. Uh, or, you know, spend 10 minutes, 15 minutes just reading a few things. There's plenty of information on the TAB website. Yeah. Uh, to help you make a decision around which way to go in this year's Melbourne Cup. Okay, Thad, the other thing is, from personal experience, it's a punter's bloody graveyard, the Melbourne Cup, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's just, the sheer numbers make it tough because, I mean, you, there's not too many races where we have 24 horses in Australasia, so that in itself makes it tricky. And then it's very hard to weigh up the form because you have all these European runners coming in, you have Japanese runners there, you have, unfortunately, no Kiwi runners this year. We got to just shut out. Uh, ladies' man and Ellen Sherratt. So Jeremy no Kiwi Jonah. horses? No, we got TMO'd, uh, Sean, uh, on, on Saturday. We la landed 25th out of twenty out of 24 that were get into the race. And ladies' man, who's a horse trained by Ellen Sherratt, was over there ready to go and got shut out. So he refunded futures bets on ladies' man because it was a, yeah, it was a, hard, it was a justice payout. It was very hard done by. So we have a great history in it, but the Europeans now are really targeted this race, and they tend to dominate. So when we do get a, if and when, or do we do get a Melbourne Cup runner, it's a really big deal, so it's a real shame. Yeah. Are the there any Irish the horses standard. in the race? Yeah, well, the Irish horses, there you go. They hit the, they hit the list. Uh, Vaux Barnes, the favourite. Willie Mullins, the trainer, and he also has 
stable mate called Absurd uh, in the race, and they are both huge chances. Bo Barnes actually your current favourite in the race. He put a demolition job on them last time when he won at Royal Ascot, won by seven and a half lengths, eased down on the line. So Bo Barnes the one to watch for. He's the favourite, but the stable mate, the other Irish horse, Absurd, uh, will be right in commission. Yeah, Thad, can I just ask you, take your phone um, mouthpiece just away from your mouth a little. We're getting a little bit of distortion. It's because you've got such a lovely race course, uh, a caller's type voice, Thad. Thad, for your money, um, so look, a, a whole lot of New Zealanders go and punt tomorrow. I probably will, um, and I do it most years, and I lose my dough, but it's fun. Um, then there is a the question of what to do during the race. I mean, I hate to think of the productivity you know, um, drops that occur on that Tuesday afternoon uh, here in New Zealand and in Australia. What do you reckon is the best way, if you're not there at Flemington, to watch a Melbourne Cup? With your mates, do you go to a pub? Do you get round the office and have the sweepstake or what? Yeah, well, I, th- I think if you have a sweepstake, um, you know, the situation at the office, and many do, I think get involved in that because that's fun with your work colleagues. I mean, there'll be one floating around at work tomorrow as well, and Otherwise, get down to your local TAB or your pubs or clubs um, because the atmosphere there will be fantastic. Uh, it always is. Uh, people love getting involved in the Melbourne Cup. So, yeah, I would say get involved in the office suite and um, get down to your local TAB and yeah. your pub or club or sign up on the website tab.co.nz. But, uh, yeah, it's always a great atmosphere in those retail outlets. Sad, yeah. I know that TAB's gone some changes in, in, in management and structure. Uh, with the Aussies essentially kind of running the marketing and stuff now, does that make any difference to the TAB on, on Melbourne Cup Day or not? Not, not especially. The, that process is still um, sort of in its infancy and we're working through all those sort of logistics. So we will see some changes over time with Entain uh, in a strategic partnership with Entain and they've brought a lot of positivity to what we're doing. The industry's in, in, you know, in a good feeling in a good place at the moment. But there's a lot of positivity out there. But as, at this year, probably not. But over the next coming years, you will see um, some changes in technology and, and platform and, uh, and and the like and the website and everything. That, that's slowly going to ease in over time. But as I say, still early days for that. Yeah, well, I'm going to have a flutter tomorrow. It, Good man. It's got to be better luck, uh, better odds than a lotto ticket. <laughs> Fair, thanks. <laughs> uh, good on you. Good, good on you. Without a fight, maybe, Sean. Uh, the Caulfield Cup winner, there you go. Okay, uh, we'll without a fight. I, I can see I wasn't. I always feel bad asking people. It's like giving away your trade secrets. Thad, thanks very much. <laughs> Have a great day tomorrow, and good luck to everyone, everyone at the TAB. Thad Taylor, spokesperson from the TAB. It's Melbourne Cup day tomorrow, and we must sort something out. Maybe we'll do some bevies um, and the Irish horses. I'm liking the Irish horses. Um, Sean Wayne Barnes is reffing the Melbourne Cup. Laugh <laughs> out. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Uh, Sean, TAB might advertise for your you busy racing time coming up. Yeah, I would imagine, actually, TAB would be a good client for us.